Alright, hello everyone, and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program. Now today, you know, I think I finally have that uh, new heavy launcher fixed and ready to go. <laughs> I had to make a few modifications to it, nothing too grandiose really. What in the world? Oh, I was using it to launch my new Exodus station. Uh, but yes, uh, same design as it was before, but I fixed the fuel lines on the inside, added some extra struts, and I'm pretty confident that it'll work now. I'll be honest, I'm still not 100% sure, but then again, when can you ever be 100% sure in this game? Oh, it's... it can get bad. So, yeah, we're not going to spend much time in here. We are just going to go straight to the launch pad. So, here we go. Oh, yep, that was from the last launch. Uh, there we go. Okay, and again, we have Orbury Kerman, since I, I, I was a little cheaty and did end that second doomed flight because I didn't want to lose another Kerman yesterday or not yesterday last episode that was several days ago <laughs> and so let's power up turn on the advanced SAS that we have zoom out a bit to see her in all of her glory and launch Orberry hopefully into the heavens in three two and one okay a little bit wobbly of a start, and dear god, those engines do pump out a lot of sound. I thought I had my headphones turned down enough, but I'm pretty sure I'm partially deaf now. <laughs> okay, so far so good. We're about to drop off of the first stage. I'm confident about this one. And there we go. I do like using those uh, little tiny Rocco Max engines. They are wonderful little things. They make me feel so much more confident that my uh, stages aren't going to kill me. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're going up pretty good so far. That stage went well. The next stage seems to be emptying fuel properly. I, uh, hopefully. <laughs> It really didn't seem to go wrong in the last episode until the next stage after this that we're about to drop. So let's cross our fingers and drop them. Okay, now what I'm going to do is try and rotate myself a bit. And while doing that, start to tip over. Now, I probably should have started to tip a while ago, but uh, uh, I'm still worried about this ship, so <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm being a little conservative with my piloting, a lot more so than I normally am. Uh, come back, come back, come back! Okay, okay, that's good, that's good. Let's, let's look at the M key, M, map. Alright, we got a 45,000 uh, meter apoapsis at the moment, and we are halfway through this last stage. So yeah, this thing's going to launch pretty well, I think, this time. We are draining fuel at an even pace, which makes me very, very happy. Okay, come on, come on, just a little more until we can drop this stage. And what are we looking at here? Uh, ooh, lovely. Past the point I usually like to cut the engines, but let's let it go until this stage goes. Bye-bye. Have a nice journey. And let's... Oh, no, no, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Uh, point down, point down, point down. Okay, 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 there we go. And SAS back on. How are we looking? Ooh, two, two, I'm gonna get it up to 250 and cut it there. I think that'll be a good way to go. Bam, there we are. Let's pop a maneuver node and a little more, a little more, a little more. What's that? 229. Ooh, 270. 255, 245. I can live with that. Nice, nice. Not exactly a perfect 90 degree uh, orbit, but you know what? I'm going to be happy with this because we 
had a successful launch of this rocket. It didn't blow up this time. It didn't shake apart. We had more than enough fuel. I mean, come on, look at all that fuel left in a main sail section. And that's and we got that up to 250. So our normal cutoff at 100 is going to be perfect for launching larger payloads deeper into space. We will not have to dig into this fuel at all for that, which makes me extraordinarily happy. But the best part about this ship, though, is something I finally remembered to do that I always forget, and that's... I remembered SAS for a change. Or not SAS, RCS. <laughs> I forget it on all of my freaking rockets. Uh, but this one, this one I remembered, so let's get ourselves to our point. There we go, nice and maneuverable, lovely. Which this apparently is going to be much more important in the next update. I was reading something earlier today that the RCS is basically going to be essential. They're going to be toning down, basically, the amount of control you have with your ship without it. Uh, an advanced SAS will help, apparently, but if you don't have an advanced SAS, you're just using a normal SAS, and you don't have any RCS, it's going to be much, much harder for you to pitch and rotate your ship without engine power. So, I, I, I definitely need to stay in the path of remembering RCS on all of my rockets. I really should be anyways, it's just... I just always forget for some reason, I don't know why. Orbury, how's it looking in the uh, cockpit there? Oh, look at that beautiful, beautiful sight, lovely. You have snacks and your picture from the moon. Great, and of course, flammable stuff. They have a nice picturesque view, very, very lovely. Let's, oop, nope, I always hit that instead of this. I always mean to turn off the UI, but end up hitting the flight, what is it, the flight results, that's what it's called. There we are. But yeah, lovely view, beautiful, beautiful, serene. Uh, yeah, let's go back out here. Oh, we still have plenty of time until our <laughs> burn that we have. I left the cockpit real quick because I was like, oh god, what? when are we supposed to burn again? No, we've still got uh, about a minute and a half before I burn. That, that should work. We've only got to get up to uh, 969.2 uh, meters per second. That'll be no problem at all with this mainsail engine here. And we've still got quite a bit of fuel left in this. So yeah, I'm very, very happy about this. Our usual 100 uh, kilometer orbit that we use for sending ourselves off into the rest of the solar system this ship is going to be able to do that with no problem whatsoever. We got to 250, and I have a feeling we'll still have fuel left after this burn. Maybe not much. But then again, I may be entirely wrong. I have <laughs> I think history has proven I'm not a good judge of how much fuel we are going to burn on a mission. But uh, I'm confident on this one. And again, like I said in the last episode, this is actually... If not the, it is certainly one of the heaviest payloads that I've sent up into space for this new Exodus Station section. This is going to be the base for that uh, future station. And yeah, it's... Actually, uh, uh... Yeah, with this section I'll be able to get it to a much higher orbit. I'm going to just put it to the 250 orbit for now, just to, so that we know that this thing works as intended. And then, I don't know, I wonder how far this one's at. Ooh, almost double. Oh yeah, that's at like a 400 kilometer orbit. I may put the Exodus Station past that, perhaps. I think it all depends on my fuel here. Because yeah, we're not going to get into a 250 orbit, I'm pretty confident, without having to dig into this. Which, wow, that's that's really shaking right there. Look at that. Ugh, that's, ooh, that's worrisome. Oop, 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 I'm off the point, I'm off the point, I'm off the point. Oop, too far, too far, too far. Okay, this is why I shouldn't manually control things. Uh, one, there we go. Uh, what are we at here? 250 by 225, not bad, not bad. 
And yeah, we still have fuel in our main sail stage. That is wonderful. So, what do I want to do with it? I'm fairly confident that we can get this thing past the KVLL-01 Challenger's orbit. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put the maneuver node over here. Oh. All right, let's put the focus on Kerman to make this a little easier. Add maneuver node. Put that thing out to... Ooh, okay, ooh, let's try, let's try for about 750. Bring that in a bit. Uh, a little bit more. Ah, to heck with it, I'll leave it there. <laughs> oh no, I can't, let's... Uh, a little bit of OCD coming out here. Let's just fiddle around with it a little more. Perfect! I can live with that. And yeah, I'm gonna try to get this thing into a 750 orbit, and I'll bring you guys back, hopefully, hopefully, once that is successful. So I will see you guys in a moment. Okay, I'm I'm uh, I'm bringing you guys back here. You you may have noticed I'm now T plus one minute and forty eight seconds. For some reason, I've lost complete control. Oh well, now it comes back. What the? <laughs> I got you. Got brought you guys back in because I lost complete control of the ship. I couldn't use any of the keys. I thought it might be the electrical charge, but no, no, I've got full charge. So, uh, yeah, I'm a little bit past now, but I uh, I don't think that's going to matter too much. Well, let's just burn it anyways. It's It should be fine. It'll be a little bit wonky, but we can change it from there. 707.75. You know what? I am happy with that for now. Ah, uh, that kind of annoys me, though. I, I, don't know, I don't know what happened with it just then, but yeah. I couldn't use any of my keys. It was completely non-responsive. I, I don't know what happened. But nonetheless, still, our new heavy launcher design got one of the largest things I've ever put into space so far in a single mission. Not largest, but heaviest things I've put into space in a single mission so far. Still with fuel left in the mainsail section. I still have this whole other engine right here with fuel that I was going to use to get this thing into the orbit I wanted. My original plan was to get this into a low orbit and then use this to raise it up, but we're at a 750, roughly 750 kilometer orbit right now, past our KVLL-01 Challenger station, and we still got a lot of fuel left, so you know what? I'm happy with that. I'm gonna leave it here for now, and well, let's let's open up the solar panels. Yeah, just just for fun. And yeah, I'm gonna leave this episode here though for now because, well, if you saw my Minecraft episode yesterday, I've got a very very busy week, mainly with uh, my day job, so I don't have as much time as I was really hoping this week for making videos. So, they're going to be generally shorter this week. So, yeah, we're going to leave it here. We have successfully gotten this section of my new space station into space, which is kind of a waste because the update is coming soon, and it's going to wipe our saves. But it is, I, I believe I was reading that it's going to be uh, craft file compatible, so I will still be able to move over my existing ships and just relaunch all of my missions, which is probably what I'll do. But, uh, yeah, we have the first bit of a new space station, which my plans are to make it a refueling station out here. Uh, I'm actually probably going to put it at up to, because we're already at, you know, about 
700 to 775 kilometers. I may put this into a 1 uh, million meter, yeah, a 1 million meter orbit around Kerman. And it is going to be my new fuel slash research station so that we can use it to reach for the stars. But yes, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Uh, I know I have. We successfully launched our new rocket design. It got us into a very high orbit with fuel left. And uh, yeah, that makes me ecstatic. So <laughs> thank you for watching, my friends. I do hope you come back for the next episode where I have no idea what I'm going to be doing. But something fun, hopefully. Something fun. <laughs> so yes, hope to see you then, and as always, have a good one.